Are you tired of getting punked in GTA 5 online? Are you tired of pulling out the wrong weapon in the middle of a gunfight and not getting that headshot that you wanted? Well, look no further. This is going to be the perfect GTA 5 online gun guide where I show you how to build the best gun wheel in GTA 5. If you want a high KD like mine, 6.03, there's the kills to back it up. Look no further. This is going to be the best gun wheel guide in GTA 5. Without hesitation, Denied. without looking any further, let's get straight into it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do, guys, is you're going to want to head over to a weapons crafting bench. Mine is, I have one in my MOC, and that's where I'm going to go to mine. But they are in different places, like you can have one in your Avenger, your Terabyte, your uh, Submarine, and a few properties. This guy's chasing me down. I'm going to head straight over to my MOC and I'll catch up with you guys when I get there. Alright, next after you get to your uh, crafting bench, just head straight over to it and copy my setup. So, SNS pistol is completely optional, heavy revolver is completely optional, special carbine is the first one you're going to want to do. So put the extended clip on it, uh, do not put any of the special rounds on it. Put a flashlight on it, that's optional. Put a scope on it, that's very important, that increases the range. Put a muzzle on it, that's gonna increase the stats a little bit as well. Put a grip on it, put a barrel on it, and then liveries and tints are completely optional. That's it for the special MK2, special carbine MK2. Next, you're gonna wanna do your pump shotgun if you want to. Uh, this one's completely optional, but I'm gonna do it anyways just to show you guys. Um, throw any kind of round that you want on it. I'm going to do the flechetti round. It's just the special. This is completely optional. You don't have to do this. Uh, scope increases it. Muscle Muzzle increases the accuracy. Uh, livery tents completely optional. And then for the marksman rifle MK2 upgrades. This is an important one. Pay attention to this one. Do the extended clip. The flashlight. Put a scope on it. I do the zoom scope. Um, put a muzzle brake on it. Precision muzzle brakes on mine. Put a foregrip on it. And then upgrade the barrel. Next is the livery and tints. Those are completely optional. Uh, pistol MK2, optional. SMG is completely optional. The next one you're going to want to do is your combat MG MK2. So, for this one, you're going to want to do the extended clip, put the grip on it, put the large scope on it, and then put a muzzle on it as well, and then upgrade the barrel if you have it unlocked. Mine's on default, but upgrade yours if you got it unlocked. Uh, liveries and tent, completely optional again. Heavy sniper, this is another one, important one. So put extended mag on it, advanced scope, put that one on it. That's the best one in my opinion. Don't put these other ones on it because you can use your night vision goggles instead. And then for the muzzle, put a muzzle on it. They all have the same stats. So bell and muzzle is the one I use. Heavy barrel, that's what I got. And liveries and tints, completely optional again. So that's that for upgrading your weapons. Very simple. Next. You're going to want to head over to your weapons locker, which mine's in my CEO office. I think there's a few properties with different ones, but that's where mine's at. I'm going to head over there and I'll catch you guys when I get there. Now it is going to cost a bit of money to get this load out, um, but it's going to be really worth it, trust me. And I head straight over to your weapons locker. I think there's one in the bunker as well. And then copy my loadout again. This is so you can properly equip your weapons. So for melee weapons, completely optional. Pistols, you're going to want to hide everyone except the AP pistol. And then for the machine guns, hide every single one but the combat MG, just like that. For the rifle, hide every single one except the special carbine Mark II. Shotgun, everyone but the... Where 
is it the bullpup pump shotgun hide everyone except your pump shotgun show actually put that one to show and then for your sniper rifles hide your precision rifle that thing's completely useless for your heavy weapons you're going to want to hide your widowmaker and your firework launcher those are completely useless as well and then explosives you don't have to do anything for those I mean, you can hide, the best way to do this one would be to hide this one, hide this one, um, hide your tear gas, and hide your grenade. Nobody uses grenades. And then that is that for the gun locker. And so we're going to go outside and I'm going to show you what your weapon wheel should look like. Oh, one more thing. Actually, we missed the, we missed one thing. For heavy weapons, make sure you hide your compact grenade launcher as well. Guess my character is going to close that. Sweet. I'm going to show you what your loadout should look like, and it should look just like mine now. And this is the best loadout in the game. This is what all the tryhards run. You know, they run a little bit of variation, but in my opinion, this is definitely the best one in my opinion. Um, it's super quick, super efficient, super good, and I'll show you why. So right now, your weapon wheel should look like this. A bunch of random guns and now your weapon wheel if you go down to health and the ammo and enable your custom weapon wheel loadout it should look like this uh, AP pistol at the top combat MG top right definitely the best weapon in the game a special carbine on your right best assault rifle and then your big sniper and your little sniper uh, long-range sniper and then your short-range sniper shotgun optional not really used too much um, and then railgun, you can blow jets out of the sky with this, deluxos really quickly. Grenade launcher, you know, you could shoot around a corner with this basically if you need to. Uh, EMP launcher, if somebody's trolling you, like say in one of the armored vehicles, um, you can drive up to it with a motorcycle off the radar and just shoot it. Uh, this is good for that. You're going to want this EMP launcher for sure. And then your homing missile. Um... Everybody runs this these days. No, if you're using the RPG still, you're stuck in like 2016. So run the homing missile. C4 proximities, uh, Molotovs optional, but these two for sure. And that is all. Um, if you like this video, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.